Let me give you the case of how Paul Ryan could be a unifying candidate, Dana. If he were to be the nominee, all of the supporters of all the candidates who ran would be unified in their outrage that their guy wasn't the pick. Um, <laughs> now, I, I suppose, look, the scenario you're thinking of is, you know, Trump, nobody wins on the first ballot. Nobody wins on the second ballot. And then, you know, after that point, most of these delegates are, quote unquote, unbound from their choice, uh, meaning that if they were sent there as, a, as a, a Trump guy, as they were sent there as, a, as to vote for Cruz, after that, they're free to vote for whoever they want in most states. So you see how it shakes out. If you keep going, you know, third ballot, fourth ballot, fifth ballot, and it's fairly clear that none of the candidates who ran could unify it. The thinking is at that point, you can kind of see this organic effort to say, OK, let's pick somebody else who didn't run, who we can all get behind. And look, I, I think there are a lot of people who like Paul Ryan uh, in the party. But having said that, I think most people would feel it, it looks kind of strange for, for, you know, as much as I can't stand Trump uh, or for Cruz or, or for even Kasich or Rubio. These guys spent like two years of their life working onto this, traveling to every state, going out, making their case, doing all the town halls, raising all the money, doing everything. And then at the end, eh, none of those guys. Let's give it to somebody who's just been sitting on Capitol Hill the whole time.